Hello and welcome back to our ES6 introduction on free code camp. This is use the structuring assignment with the rest parameter to reassign array elements. It says in some situations involving array destructuring, we might want to collect the rest of the element into a separate array. The result is similar to array.prototype.slice as shown below. If you guys don't know what the slice method does, it uh, returns the selected element in an array um, as a new array object. So this is uh, similar. So we have const a and b, and then we have our r um, variable. So by using the rest parameter, as we've learned in previous lessons, make sure to check that out if uh, you're not sure what the rest parameter is. But here we denote we want to create a const a, const b, and we also want to uh, grab the rest of the values and create an, a const out of them, which would be an array. If we do our console log, we can log a and b, which was created, and the values 1 and 2 were given to a and b. If we console log r, we'll see it did return the selected elements in the array as a new array. So variables a and b take the first and second values from the array. After that, because of, re of the rest parameter's presence, r gets, rest, uh, r gets the rest of the values in the form of an array. The rest element only works correctly as the last variable in the list as in you cannot use the rest parameter to catch a subarray that leaves out the last element of the original array. Use destructuring assignment with the rest parameter to perform an effective array.prototype.slice so that R is a subarray of the original array source with the first two elements omitted. So we zoom out here we see here we have this const source which is 1 through 10 this function removes first two and we pass in uh, one argument so change code below this line so I could probably just erase this and what we're going to want to do is very similarly to what we've been doing in all the other lessons is declare our const, then our array um, destructuring syntax, and we're going to target list. Okay, so within list, because that's what's going to be passed in, so, because down here we see const r is assigned remove first two with source. Okay, so within here, if we do a and b, which is going to grab one and two, so r is a subarray of the original array source with the first two elements omitted. And that's why I did A and B. Okay, so A and B. And then as we just learned, using the spread dot 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 R, then we're going to return R. So that's what this function does, right? So here, when we create a const called R, we're going to call our function remove first two and we're going to pass in source. So now this list argument is going to take that uh, variable source with an array of 1 through 10 and then it's going to apply this to it. First it's going to create an a and b variable with 1 and 2 in it then it's going to do this rest parameter and return that uh, return that returned array with 
3 through 10 in it. So, and then we, we assign a const r with the values of that remaining array. So here, console log r, we see down here it did log 3 through 10. Uh, if we look at source, it's still that 1 through 10, the unchanged array. So that should be all this lesson is asking. Well, we should pass, and we did pass. So the important thing, as long as you're following the logic, we have this function, remove first two. It takes in a, an argument list. Um, what the function does is it takes list and it grabs from it the first and second value. And then we have this r, uh, this rest parameter, which is going to uh, grab the remaining values. And then we just return that which is going to be an array with the remaining values. And that's why when we assign uh, r, the return value of remove first two with source pass in, everything works out. As long as you're understanding that, you guys are getting these lessons, and I'll see you in the next one.